Kelly09 and you're watching my DIY Tumblr phone case video. So for those of you guys that are going back to school right now or in like the next couple of weeks, then you can DIY these phone cases for back to school and if you're just on summer holiday and you're like, I don't want to be thinking about back to school right now, then you can think about doing these phone cases for the summertime because it is awesome having a super cool Tumblr phone case in the summertime. I have seen a lot of these cases or like similar cases to them that it costed like a lot, like a, like a lot. And believe me guys, I don't want to be wasting money on expensive cases that I can DIY myself. So that's exactly what we're going to do today. So I hope you guys are super excited for this video. And if you all remember to give this video a thumbs up, let's see if we can get this video to 4,000, whoa, whoa, 4,000 likes in 24 hours because if you can get this video to 4,000 likes, we'll see what happens. And then if you are already a member of the Maisterly family, go ahead and subscribe because um, we have a lot of fun here on my channel. We can't be a full family without you in it, so go ahead and subscribe to be a member of the Maisterly family and to be a Maisterly. And yeah, that is basically it. Let's just get right into this video. So this DIY phone case is probably the easiest out of all of them. So what you're going to need will be a clear phone case, some Mod Podge, a scissor, a painting brush, some decor, a pencil, an X-Acto knife, and a paper of your choice. So now you want to place your iPhone case on top of the paper and you just want to trace out your iPhone case. And then after that you can go ahead and cut it out with a scissor. And I'm using an X-Acto knife to cut the corners just because it made it a lot easier. And then I put the paper inside of the phone case and then I just traced out the little camera hole which I later on just cut out with an X-Acto knife. And then I got this little text which says, I do not know. And I just applied some Mod Podge to the back and then I just attached that to the paper. But you obviously don't have to do this if you don't want to. And then after that I just put my iPhone inside the case and okay so you could be done here or you can go ahead and add on some extra details and accessory to the back and I just went ahead and added on these pink flowers and that is basically it. And I just did the exact same thing to the other case just with another design and that's how easy it is to make these two adorable cases. Never sleep, you never try when you are with me, with me, I wanna say what you came is what you came for you get what you made is what you paid for. So I would be lying if I'd said that I didn't have any favorites because this phone case is just adorable. All you'll need will be paint, a, a painting sponge, and a clear iPhone case. So what you want to start out with doing is just putting on a little bit of paint, just a tiny bit, on your case. And then you just want to sponge that on, continuing with all the other colors. And just remember to blend it well and not take too much paint because I did this mistake. It was hard to get off. It was just not fun. So don't do that. So go ahead and do whatever kind of color combination you want because this case is all up to you. You want to make it personal, right? So when I was done with my case, I just let it dry for about 10 to 20 minutes. It didn't really take long and that is basically that. super fun and super glittery for those girly girls out there. All you'll need will be a colored phone case, some glitter, a paintbrush, the Mod Podge, and yeah, that is that is all. So what you want to start out with doing is just putting some Mod Podge with your paintbrush on your colored phone case. And this is going to make the glitter stick to the phone case just because it won't stick without the Mod Podge. So yeah, you just want to be putting as much Mod Podge as you want to on there. And then you just want to be Pouring out your glitter, it could be any color that you want to. I chose gold. And you just want to be shaking it off, you know, that Taylor Swift song though. And then just repeating that many times until you get the desired look. Also going to be doing the sides with glitter and Mod Podge just because I wanted them to match the rest of the phone case. So I just did that. And if you don't want to get glitter all over your hands, I would recommend putting some Mod Podge on top of the glitter. That makes the glitter stay to the case and not falling all over you because you don't want that to happen. And I know it's gonna be looking pretty weird right now, but just let it dry and the Mod Podge will dry transparent. So no worries at all. So I'm back, I didn't disappear after all. Maybe you thought so, but I'm still here. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to give this video a big old thumbs up because we wanna get to that 4,000 thumbs up in 24 hours, don't we? Can you see the new wall I just created in my last video? 
last last video and if you want to see how I did that go ahead and click the link in the description box down below where I show you guys how we do that and lots of more things to do when you're bored so go ahead and comment in the comment section below which case you like the most my favorite of all these cases has to be the rainbow kind of case the case is my new bay that is basically it for this video guys I hope you're excited for lots of more fun videos in the near future and I will see you guys next time bloopy time woo Oh my god, you should totally join this choir or something. I'll run a finger. Girl, I really wanna know. Pew, pew. Oh. Are there anyone here? Oh. Where are you guys? Ah. Earth, earth, earth? What? I do not care. <laughs> Eyebrows on fleek, filling that beach. I don't know what I'm talking about, but let's create a song. Woo!